Hello and welcome back to the new video of Incredible Meadow Concepts. Today we're gonna learn about the SARO quinolones. Well, quinolones are the potent antimicrobial agents which are synthetic in nature. And naldixic acid is the oldest member of this class, which is effective mainly against the gram negative bacteria like E. coli, Shiagala, Proteus, and Klebsiella. Before discussing the point of modification and its effect on the activity, let's have a look over its structure. If we see the structure, it is composed of benzene ring and pyridine ring. If I want to number the ring, we'll start from the heterocyclic atom, that is nitrogen atom. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Here you can see that it is having ketone group at 4th position. That's why quinolones end with the term ones. If we see the first position of the ring, nitrogen atom is present. An alkyl group and nitrogen atom is essential for the activity. And if that alkyl group is small one, smaller one, it will further increase the potency of the compound. If we see the comparative order among the different alkanes, methyl is less potent than ethyl. And ethyl is less potent than cyclopropyl. It means cyclopropyl is more potent than methyl and ethyl. Similarly, it is written in the third point. If the alkyl group is cyclopropyl group, it will further increase the potency. For example, in case of ciprofloxacin and norfloxacin, ciprofloxacin is more potent than norfloxacin because ciprofloxacin is having cyclopropyl moiety. That's why ciprofloxacin is more potent than norfloxacin. Guys, if we see the second position of the ring, substitution should not be there at second position as it will lead to loss of activity. If we see the second and third position, in between the second and third position, some unsaturation is there. If we saturate that unsaturation, it will lead to loss of activity. And if we see the third position, some one carboxylic group is present. This carboxylic group is essential for the activity. And one keto group is present at the fourth position. This keto group and carboxylic group is essential for the DNA gyrase activity. As you all know that fluoroquinolones or quinolones act by inhibiting the DNA gyrase enzyme. They are all are topoisomerase based enzyme which help in removing the negative supercoiling introduced during the replication of DNA. And if we modify the ketone group and uh, carboxylic group, maybe they are able not able to kill the bacteria which result in the failure of antibiotics. If we see the fifth position, if we introduce three groups like NS2, OH or CS3, they are beneficial in terms of antibacterial activity. And if we add fluorine atom at sixth position and piperazine ring at seventh position, it will result in the formation of fluoroquinolones. They are much better compound as compared to quinolones as they have wider spectrum of activity, fewer side effects, lesser chances of resistance and better tissue penetration when compared to quinolones. So this is all about the SAR of quinolones. Hope so you like the video. If you really like the video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for the upcoming concept oriented videos. Thank you so much.